but yeah. not up here. And some powerful storms at that. A chance of storms tonight that does include a slight chance of severe weather, but nothing compared to what's going on uh, off to our south or our southeast. Just clouds around here, more drizzle, and really more rain that is not measurable, but we start to increase our chances really after midnight around here. So lots of clouds on the satellite, not too much showing up on radar until you zoom out a bit and just lines of storms here to our south and our southeast. These are all severe thunderstorm warnings across Missouri. Two separate tornado warnings now, one in southern Kansas, one there in uh, western Oklahoma. So this line of storms, but it stays on this line. The center of low pressure is to our southwest, and that is moving in our direction. But the really active weather stays out ahead of that low as the center of low pressure works over us late tonight. That will give us a chance of some uh, severe weather around here, but a much better chance of rain, which is much needed, and some weaker thunderstorms, which will move in. The main threat around here would be large hail from any thunderstorms. We are not concerned with tornadoes or really straight line winds. Lots of clouds around here the rest of tonight. Drizzle early on, then that chance of rain with some thunderstorms that mix in. Still drizzle out at Epley 49. That's the highest we have been today. East northeast wind at eight miles per hour. So very cool around here. That front's still in place, though, with the very warm and humid air to the south and southeast. 78 in Kansas City, 76 in St. Louis, 40s around Nebraska. It is 51 in Des Moines. So we're under a slight chance of severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma. The only reason, though, the sole reason for that slight risk is hail. So a 15% chance of large hail, that would make it a severe thunderstorm. If I said a 15% chance of rain, you wouldn't cancel outdoor plans, but when it comes to severe weather, 15% percent chance of large hail. That's a pretty decent chance. After midnight and before 6, 7 a.m. is the time frame we're watching. So let's go to Storm Predictor and time this out. Here's 2.30 in the morning. That center of low pressure nearing. We'll have plenty of lift in the atmosphere, elevated instability and decent wind shear, which is the change in wind speed and direction as you go up in the atmosphere. So a couple ingredients in there that could lead to a severe thunderstorm or two. Three, four o'clock, you saw that cluster of storms right over us. After that, it's very isolated showers, maybe a thunderstorm that mixes in. Obviously, we stay very cloudy tomorrow and kind of dreary once again. Some light rain mixing in. This storm, though, finally moves out and quickly by tomorrow night. Mostly clear into early Friday morning. The rest of Friday looks fantastic, really. We'll be in the mid-60s, a little breezy at times, but nothing uh, really but sunshine around here. Then we carry that mostly into Saturday. A few clouds that will mix in. 71, breezy on Saturday. Still mild to finish the weekend. More clouds will mix in. A chance of showers there early on. Monday, partly cloudy in 66. Another chance for rain late Monday and into Tuesday. All right, thanks, Kyle. Yeah.